Hey guys, Nicole here, and I have a process video for you. I am working with a huge Maggie Holmes collection um, that I showed in my last video. It's actually a combination of leftover supplies of, I don't know, eight to 10 of her lines. <laughs> so I just decided to um, combine a bunch of them all together and work with them as one really large kit. Um, so that's what I'm using um, supply wise for this layout. So I have two photos and the um, photos are basically about my daughter and one of her teachers who has just really gone above and beyond to um, just take care of her and like they just have built a really neat relationship and um, they were meeting for quote unquote coffee at my shop after school one day and just to just to talk and hang out and it's just she just gave her a lot of time that she really didn't have to and so I had taken some pictures and um wanted to scrapbook them and tell the story because it's just a really special relationship and this is her last year that she'll have her as a teacher and so I wanted to get that documented so I decided paper wise although it changes here later but initially I just wanted to use six by six um, I just wanted to get some of those papers used up. Um, I end up pulling in a couple of 12 by 12 sheets later on. Um, but as far as the, um, the layers underneath the photos, it's, I just use six by six and I didn't trim them down. I just layered them up and, um, kind of use the colors from the pictures there's like a, a dark yellow couch in there and they both have black on there's some bright pink so um and it has a, the shop itself has a very vintage feel to it and so um it just worked really well so I went ahead and just adhered these layers down since I liked how it looked and um have to mess with it a little bit to get it right, but um, all right, just getting that adhered down a little bit. And so I don't, uh, I kind of still have my supplies and like bags and piles. I am looking for some containers to put them in because Right now I still have an older kit and in one of the containers I had for that purpose. And so you'll see me digging through some <laughs> bags here pretty soon. But before that, I just feel like the background, although I know I'm going to embellish it yet, it just felt felt like I needed some more color on the outer edges. And so I, I do go and pull up the um, big old stack of paper <laughs> and I just want to get something multicolored back there because I have kind of some different colors going and I settle on these two. I love the um the text paper and it's a great paper just to be a background in itself but I just decided that I really like because I have that black and white polka dot I wanted to get something that was kind of a, a black and white feeling um pattern as well back there and so um I'm cutting out the middle of and I should have done that with the text one too but I don't do that with this one because I keep kind of second guessing myself and I love how I end up doing it but I, I'm second guessing how I layer these up here you'll kind of see that um so I trimmed this down so I trimmed out the middle just to save some of that pattern and then I trimmed this down to 11 by 11 and I could have trimmed out the middle of that one and saved some of that pattern as well um that's okay I still have a couple strips of it but I could have um, saved some of that paper because I'm going to layer this on top of it um I think what I'm struggling with is because of the pattern you end up with like a solid on the top and a solid on the bottom um, and it ends up working fine. So I just kind of pulled in those two colors that were really kind of prominent because they were in solid form, whereas all the other colors you're just seeing a little bit on the sides. Um, and so I really just focus on pulling kind of those two colors into the, to the top, to the embellishment part of it. So you'll kind of see what I mean here in a little bit. Um, so I go ahead and layer, I'm just kind of still tinkering around deciding if I want that's what I want to do. And I go ahead and um, 
decided to do that. So I layer the, this really funky text paper and then I trim this down to I think 10 and a half by 10 and a half um, and layer that it on top of it. And I like how that looks. I'm contemplating if I should get another solid color between the two white papers, but I decided not to. And I'm glad I didn't because I really like how it turns out. I like how that looks, that white on white. Um, so now I decide um, to go to my chipboard sheets because I want to kind of figure out some of the bigger um, dimensional pieces first. Usually I would go to the layering pieces, like my cut aparts and things. Um, and I do get to that. I don't do it first this time just because I, they're in a bag and there, there's a lot there. So I need to just get, like I said, I need to get a tub or a container to just dump them in so I can filter through them easier because as they are right now, I don't want to go through them because they're just jam packed in this plastic bag. But I knew I wanted to find some kind of frame to highlight it was kind of a picture that I snuck of the two talking. Um, they didn't know I was taking it. And um, so I wanted to frame that. And I I um, contemplate using another frame here shortly, but I end up going back to this yellow one. I like how it pulls that yellow to the front. Um, and that chipboard that says Cherish This Day, I thought was really perfect. Um, and... I contemplate using this. I end up not using that pink flower, although it's really cute there. Um, and I probably, yeah. So I still have it sitting on my table. I could have probably used it, but I end up using a different one there. Um, down, down further down the line here because I end up incorporating some gold glittery stuff on the layout. And so then I end up finding some gold, a gold glittery um, sticker off, I think that same sticker sheet. Um, because I come back to it with chipboard sheets because they have said they have bigger pieces but they also have like really little pieces a lot of times they'll kind of enter my, my process twice so I'll start I'll do it kind of towards the beginning to get some of the bigger pieces and then when I'm ready to do my um my detailing you know whether it be enamel dots or you know my detailing pieces my smaller smaller pieces at the very end a lot of these chipboard sheets also have tiny pieces and so um I do, I do kind of, en they enter into my process twice because I want to, I go back and look at, you know, how my, what my color scheme ended up being. And then, so I do a double check and then I also look for some of the smaller, smaller pieces to, to, to detail with. So, so I tried that, that mint green was really pretty and that mint green is in that background paper, but I just thought that yellow was a lot better better and it kind of helped because you're seeing that kind of thick line of yellow along the top that thick yellow line of that light pink on the bottom I really feel like I need to pull those up front um, so it feels a little bit more even um, and so that pink that ombre pink flower is perfect um, and and then that yellow frame ended up looking better because I pulled more of that yellow up. And that floral paper behind the photos is is yellow. Um, it's like a dark yellow. It looks kind of darker on the screen than it than it is, but um, it matches like the very very top. If you can see, there's kind of an ombre that that yellow along the very top. It's kind of an ombre look. So at the very very top, it's really a dark yellow, and it kind of as you get into those little. Um, those little like half circle, you know, um, I don't know what you call them. They, it gets into a lighter yellow. And so, um, here it's kind of hard to see that, but the, the darker yellow I have in the cluster really does match the very, very top of that yellow, the very top of the um, pattern paper in the, in the background there. So I found this, um, vellum. Let's get together. I just love those. They, I know vellum isn't always the easiest to adhere, but, I love how they lay on on top of these photos and other pattern papers and you can still see what's underneath them and um, I just kind of adhered it down with the two stickers there. 
And so now I'm just kind of digging through to see what else I want from this particular bag, which again is not easy to. <laughs> and I decided I want to get a couple tags on there just to like provide kind of a third little area of embellishment. Um, and I really like that. I like the pink, I like the black because we do have some black going on. And then I like that pink, light pink ruffle because again, that pulls up that light pink that you're seeing along the bottom of the, of the layout. It kind of pulls it up to the front. Um, I like this tag, but I end up finding one. It's a little bit greener than the that blue bluish green um, pattern paper I have there. And this one matches much better. They, and it has that gold glitter as well which I end up pulling into the layout a little bit more here in a couple different ways. I just love tags to give a little bit of a, um, a lot of times if a layout is kind of going on, you know, like left to right, tags are great for getting some upward dimension, if that makes any sense. I really want to get this, this little banner piece that says my happy heart just because that's was very much, kind of what I was feeling at the time. Um, and so I just tuck her under here um, between some of the paper layers. But I feel like it needs something kind of underneath it because it does. It feels like it's kind of, even though it's grounded on the papers, it still feels like it's just kind of there. I feel like it needs to be grounded a little bit because it's a smaller piece. If it was a little bit bigger, it might be a different story. But um, so I'm just kind of looking to see. So then I go and... I'm gonna pull out my flat stickers now um, to, to find something to go kind of underneath that. And I will find something um, that works well. I say I love, I think this is a great trick is I love using white cardstock, but then backing it with a multicolored paper. Um, it gives you so much flexibility with how you decide to embellish. And it's really fun kind of pulling all those different colors together. Um, just a lot of fun. So I'm just kind of going through my little pile of um, stickers here and seeing what catches my eye, if there's any other words and phrases I want to get on there. Um, it's feeling pretty well embellished, so I don't want to do a ton more, but I like this You and Me sticker, and it brings in that little bit of a brighter yellow, which is also in that background paper along with that darker yellow. And um, I end up changing where I have that, but I do end up using it. And here I'm just looking for kind of a medium size to larger like flat sticker to put underneath that black banner piece just to get a little bit of a just to ground it a little bit and this works fine but since I already had this brighter yellow on the you and me chipboard sticker I want to maybe find something that's a darker yellow yet um, and this one is fun it's like an, it's like a ticket that says 25 cents on it and like a, the brighter pink which is perfect because that pulls in that brighter pink you're seeing in the background as well I end up kind of pulling it down a little bit so you see it more um and I decided to add some I have I got this like I probably have two or three of these like big like balls of this white twiny stuff I'm not for sure it's like a what exactly it's called um and I love it. It's so nice. It's going to last me for forever. So I just put some of that on the tags. And this chipboard sticker says more sunshine. And I liked that there because they in our shop, we have like a front room and then like the main area, main part of the building. The front room has huge windows. And so people like to sit up there because of the sunshine. And it's winter and it's freezing cold. And so they went and sat up there in the sun to just kind of stay warm while they were chatting. And so I thought that was perfect. And you can see the, the well, very dirty windows in the background. Like winter, just, I love the windows and it's great to get sunshine, but they get so dirty and they're so hard to keep clean because you clean them and then it like snows and melts all. It's just not nice. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready to spring clean and all that stuff. So 
I really like this light pink camera again, trying to pull some more of that light pink up since it's such, it's kind of pull, draws your eye at the bottom of the layout. So I want to get some more of that. I end up moving that here pretty soon, but it does stay in the layout. And I'm feeling like at this point, I'm just like finding some really fun, like little bits and pieces to kind of add to the layout. Um, and I come across this butterfly. I think it's really, really cute. I love the colors. Um, and so I decided to put the butterfly, um, kind of above our heads there. Um, and I love how that looks. And so then I just take the camera down and I adjust this a little bit so that you can see now that I have that really bold, brighter pink there, I want to show that I have that pink there in that ticket as well. Um, and then I layer it with the light pink camera there. So now I have a nice little cluster down there as well. So I kind of got like four different main clusters going on, but it's all kind of surrounding the photos. Um, and it's, I love how it turned out. I changed them you and me over and layered it on top of the cherish this day square sticker there, um, which kind of gives some yellow to that side of the layout, which is nice. I have like really good balance of the yellows and a good balance of the pinks um, that, yeah. So I don't know if I add anything else or not. Oh yes, I wanted to find something with that gold glitter. So I had this ampersand and I really like it, but I just can't really, I have a hard time placing them. Those ampersands, they just, they fit differently, but I had this really beautiful floral piece and so I just stick it there just to get um you can see I have that bright glittery gold in that heart and now on the um on that floral piece there and I think that's it so at least it's in a little bit in the bottom and a little bit to the top and it balances it out really nicely and then that black tag has like a gold foily gold um on the where the twine is attached. So, so now I have these tags from Hobby Lobby and I decided to do kind of a hidden journaling thing, but it kind of pops out so you can see that there's journaling on it. Um, cause I didn't really have a great place on the background to journal. There's a lot of white space, but I didn't really know for sure where I was going to journal. So I decided just to do it on a tag, which is always a safe place. And, um, I'll add twine to it as well. And then just tuck it in behind the other tags. So you can see it and then pull it out if you want to read it. Um, these tags are a little tricky because they have kind of a smoother sur surface to them. And I have some of those markers that are good for um, a smoother surface, but I didn't have them nearby. So I just use my regular journaling pen and try to... Um, Try to let it dry a little bit before I, I tucked it in, but hopefully it didn't smear too much when I put it in there. I can always rewrite it if I need to. I have lots of those tags, so. I'm not trying to let it dry a little bit, so I'm like, okay, let me uh, maybe fix some of the letters, and I blew on it a little bit just to make sure it didn't didn't smear. I should have just gotten up and went <laughs> went to where I had those markers that um, dry right away on on that kind of surface, but the slick writers is what they're called. I have a bunch of those yet, so. So I love how that looks. It kind of brings some of that that handwritten, you know, kind of brings in again some of that black and white look. Um, which I like. So yeah, this is it. I'm done, you guys. Um, very, very, oh yeah, I, I'm not quite done. I outlined the, the white. Um, but no, it was fun. This is a fun layout to make. I think it's, I love all the colors and it's very bright and pretty and fun. So it was fun to, to make this layout. So thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, I hope that you guys are having a good February and I'm, I hope to be back soon. Um, thank you guys again for watching and happy scrapping. Bye-bye.